all the stuff all the stuff that you're involved in man you got uh, a lot of a lot of great stuff going on and one of them is uh your your pasnia the free republic of pasnia could you could you tell me what's what it what is pasnia about what's the free republic of pasnia i see you have like passports you can buy and then like you can become a stakeholder i guess in your community in in the area that you want to have like a community going or what's the what's your vision there with pasnia yeah yeah so um again largely unplanned um so i mean i mentioned the lambs and the goats that was like you know april 20 uh, april 2020 or, or thereabouts um well henza came to visit in may and uh, i was talking to him and i was like you know I want to try to have like an event here. Like I don't, I, I, I don't know how, why the hell people would come out here to Southern Illinois, um, but like maybe I could convince them to come out here. So like I'm gonna try that bonding fest, and um, you know within a month or so it turned into like I was declaring my independence from the USSA and it was the Free Republic of Pasnia. Um, so <laughs> it happened pretty quick. Um, and for for the, for the audience out there, it's P A P A Z um, is the acronym for a Freedom Strategy Building Building Permanent Autonomous Zones. Um, so so fixed locations where we can exercise our autonomy. Um, without the threat of, um, you know, the threat of coercion, um, per se. Um, uh, so, yeah, this is, um, so I've got, what we've got here is Veritas Pasnia. Um, the, the idea is it's, it's, it's the first free country in existence, um, but it's a geographically independent country. Um, so what that means is that, so Veritas Pasnia is here, um, you know, an hour and a half northeast of St. Louis. Um, there's a Roots Pasnia in, in New York. Um, there's a, uh, um, a, a, uh, why can't I ever remember um, Fox something or other in uh, um, in Michigan? And um, there's uh, you know a couple couple others scattered throughout the world. So it's a, it's a decentralized country essentially, a decentralized second realm, um, with you know kind of the kind of the mocking the the countries the countries thing um, while doing it. Um, so we've got like our passing Department of Freedom, like I said, like like you said, we've got passports. Um, we've got uh, we've got our head of the passing Department of you know our our head of the uh, you know passing Mint is uh, working on. Uh, you know, pyramid-shaped coins now, um, Pasnia coins. So, um, I mean, it's a totally legitimate operation, but it's it, it doesn't look like it. Um, <laughs> um, it's uh, part of its culture jam. <laughs> uh, so, um, so you mentioned how how it came about. I, I kind of I, I kind of got off off track there, but um, so yeah, the the Free Republic of Pasnia, um, the uh, so, yeah, Vonnie Fest. Yeah, that's what I was getting, getting at. Um, so yeah, Vonnie Fest turned into the Free Republic of Pasnia. And um, at Vonnie Fest, we had uh, a ceremony that I called the uh, the Rebirth of Freedom ceremony. And um, I, uh, you know, I gave a speech. We had a, a constitution signing, um, which is um, behind me. If people are looking at the video, it's what's in the mirror behind me, um, taped up there. Um, but so uh, we had a, uh, you know, constitution signing. And uh, you know, it was a pretty, a pretty wild event. Um, yeah, 25, 30 people out here. Um, it was, uh, it was incredible. It was incredible. So. Um, you know, we birthed, uh, you know, the second realm network that's, you know, currently, you know, in the process of being built. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's the, that's kind of the, 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 the um, the brief overview. Um, it's, it's kind of hard. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a very overall, it's the a genesis. very overarching thing. Yeah. But you can answer whatever questions. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I see a lot of, you know, stuff that you guys are doing, like, um, uh, I guess like you have like a department of health and you're doing, uh, I saw that you had one of these HHO generators from like George Wiseman yeah. on there. Aquacure. Yep. Which is that I, right behind that me. I've been, uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're talking about the second realm and, mm -hmm. um, for my audience out there, would you, would you mind explaining what oh, the yeah. second realm is and, and, uh, you know, what, uh, well, you're setting up there for the second realm as far as, um, I guess, building just like a kind of an infrastructure for uh, how folks can have a have a market in the second realm. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, yeah, there's a lot. It's a lot of terminology. That's what I spent most of my time doing over the past. That's what I spent most of my time doing over the past few years, basically just defining terms and introducing people to concepts um, and learning as, as I as I, you know, dig into them myself too but um but uh, so yeah the the second realm um if we're gonna talk about the second realm we gotta talk about the first realm and the first realm is the the servile society um you know the status servile society as rayo called it back in the 1960s um it's that, that it's this the main society we, we know what it is i mean it's it's why you do a lot of the stuff that you do um it's why i'm sure a lot of people here 
um, you know, listen to your, your podcast is, 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 you know, because the, we need solutions to solutions, you know, in defense of, you know, that society um, whose foundation is coercion. Um, so the second realm, on the other hand, is um, the second realm is, um, you know, the building a parallel society, per se, um, where we have all of those same necessary critical human institutions, um, but built upon a foundation of peace, um, truth and voluntarism. Um, so, like, obviously, uh, you know, health is important, right? Um, so, like, uh, you know, but okay. actual real modalities, you know, real effective modalities are important. Um, so, instead of Babylon Pharmaceuticals, as I call it, we have the Pasadena Department of Health and Wellness. Um, so, um, what's another uh, another example? I mean, any other, um, we've got the Pasadena Department of Freedom, which issues the passports and handles, um, handles certain affairs. The Pasadena Department of Tourism handles events here. Um, at, uh, at Veritas Pasnia, which our, our first one is actually coming up um, this weekend, actually, um, our, our spring camping event. So, oh, cool. Um, for, yeah, for vetted self-liberators um, and Pasnians. Um, there'll be some folks out here. It's going to be a good time. Um, so, yeah, the Pasnia Department of Tourism handles all that, uh, all that stuff. Um, and uh, then, I guess, get, move, moving beyond that, uh, um, you know, all the food self-sufficiency items, um, infrastructure beyond that, so, um, like one of our major um, missions of this year, has been in the digital second realm, actually. So, um, you know, we've, we've got Veritas Pazni here, which is a physical second realm, um, but there's also digital second realms. Um, so, um, for example, like we, we've been, uh, we just recently started selling ghost phones um, and ghost pads on the LUI Publications website. So these ghost phones are, are de-Googled um, Google Pixel um, 3As um, with Calyx OS. So they're like, they're, they're privacy phones, um, ghost phones out of the box. They work incredible. Um, and, um, you know, you can run, easily run, v run all your data and traffic over VPN and Tor, um, and, uh, you know, really take control of your, of your privacy, which is, which is a critical element, um, to, to the second realm. Um, beyond that, um, the ghost pads, um, another feature, we'll have freedom boxes at some point, which, um, I, I, I still have yet to test those out, so I'm not too knowledgeable on that myself, um, but, uh, but we will, I will hopefully have those soon. But, uh, yeah, we've been, we've been building, you know, I guess working on, um, a lot of this infrastructure and the freedom box infrastructure will, um, with one click can be turned into mesh network nodes too. So, um, yeah, it's really, it's, it's very, very much in, in its infancy. It's, it's year two at Pasnia, as I call it, um, year two and, um, lots, you know, lots, lots in the works and, uh, big visions, um, like, uh, yeah, big, big visions. Our own, yeah. Like you're saying, wow. our, our own infrastructure, um, not, not reliant upon, um, yeah, the, the centralized ones. Yeah, yeah. I, um, we we're talking a little bit before we started, but uh, met uh, Sec uh, a while back, and and he was telling me about something that you guys were working on, an idea, I guess, a concept of um, a delivery, yeah. some kind of a delivery using uh, um, in the second realm. You know, mm -hmm. if people are traveling or whatever, maybe you can. Uh, pick up a delivery or whatever and you know maybe help get you to the next spot or something you know if you can help deliver something i thought right. it was a pretty cool idea yeah yeah so so um, i guess i, I could i could mention i could mention that too um that one of the one of the reasons why um i think like a de like a decentralized second realm network like this is viable um is is you know on the back of vanu um mobility is a is a, a critical component so rayo his first lifestyle change was being nomadism um, he just, he traveled around and lived in a camper mounted, you know, on a, you know, mounted on his pickup truck. So there are a lot of nomads in the network, in the network mm -hmm. now. There's a lot of people that drive for work already in the first realm. So, um, yeah, the passing department of transportation is obviously a natural, you know, a natural, uh, you know, development of this. And, and there's, uh, um, yeah, there's a, there's a telegram chat, a telegram chat, um, that's, that's been open up for this too. Um, I, I know it's been successful at least once because second I've have uh, you know made a, a successful transaction, um, or I guess a successful delivery um, exchange. So um, it's an, the proof of concept is there. It's basically basically now, um, yeah. It's just uh, building out the network, um, building out that yeah, building out the network and um, <laughs> yeah, making it making it where that's yeah. where, where where it's actually feasible to have a, a an actual actual you know like nationwide per se countrywide logistics network because it's not a super easy thing to do i've heard <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah it's definitely one of those uh things like how, how do we how do we make it 
easier for people to unplug, I guess. I don't know. Like, uh, it, like a lot of the stuff that you're doing is like paving the way, man, like kind of on the front edge of, uh, some of these dis discoveries and, and pushing towards a, a better, I guess, a more voluntary future. And so it's always like, we're in like the beginning, I guess, iterations, I don't know, of, uh, of building this alternative system here. And, uh, you know, there's always clunks and bumps and whenever you're trying to do something for the first time or trying to get something started, that's potentially could be, you know, a total alternate economy, essentially. Mom, are all countries coercive shitholes? Most are, yes, but have you heard of the Free Republic of Poznia? No, what's Poznia? Poznia is the first free country in existence, right now. Founded upon truth, peace, and voluntarism, rather than coercion, as you pointed out. POS itself is an acronym for the freedom strategy of building permanent autonomous zones, places in which we can be free and exercise our autonomy without the threat of force. Oh, cool, so a free country exists. Where is it? Well, unlike the traditional statist country structure, Poznia is a decentralized, geographically independent country. So, in essence, it's everywhere. How do we visit or join? Good question. Poznia is a vetted network, so not everyone is welcome. Reputation must be verified and the use of coercion forsworn. But soon, a directory and map both public-facing and private, will be available at posnia.com. And for now, gatherings of liberation in the Second Realm are already happening at Veritas, Posnia, Roots, Posnia, and Fox Prairie, Posnia, to name a few. Those interested in joining this Posnia Second Realm network can become founding or honorary stakeholders. In addition to gaining access to discounts and specials at Veritas, and the wider network, other perks exist such as passports, stakeholder dinners at the consulate, access to healing technologies at the Department of Health, Wellness, special Posnia silver coins, and more. And for those who want to get involved but in a more distant manner, there's also the Posnia Committee of Correspondence Telegram Chat, the Posnia Seed Exchange, and much, much more in store. Grandma would love this. What's the website again? I want to tell her about it. Ha ha ha. That's funny. Grandma's been a stakeholder for longer than you've been alive, but if you wanted to tell your Uncle Mike, the website is posnia.com, and linked right at the top of the page is the 2021-2022 Stakeholder Bulletin. There, he can find a more thorough and wordy explanation of the Second Realm Network currently under construction. You could even invite him to Vanufest 3, a now annual, week-long gathering of liberation at Veritas. This year, it's from September 26 to October 3rd. Sounds like a blast. Posnia.com. Okay, thanks mom. Anything else I need to know? One thing, dear. Always remember, Vanu is yours for the making and the second realm is yours for the building. See you in the second realm.